Hey guys, it's Kasera, and today I'm going to be doing my review for Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. <laughs> So Senlin Ascends is an historical fantasy novel. The main character, Senlin, goes on his honeymoon with his wife, Maria, to the Tower of Babel, and they are separated pretty early on in the book, and he spends the book trying to find her, and he has to get to the top of the Tower of Babel in order to do that. I'm gonna be honest, I went into this book like really wanting to love it, like I really, really wanted to love it, but I struggled through this one. And it's not that it wasn't easy to read, like I really do think it was easy to read. It was fast paced and action packed and it had my attention the entire time that I was reading it. Like there were times when I could not put this book down, but at the same time, every time I did put this book down, I would think back to what I just read and I didn't really enjoy it. So while I do understand why other people love this book, I didn't enjoy it as much as I wanted to. So I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. For these reviews, I talk about four things, character, plot, world building, and writing style. So we're gonna start with character. And honestly, there's nothing about the characters that really grabbed my attention. We don't really get to know the main character, Senlin, very well, or even his wife, Maria. So because of that, and because I really didn't feel that strength of connection between them, the premise of the story, a man looking for his wife didn't really grab my attention that much. I felt like I really wanted to know more about them and their relationship and things like that. And there was just nothing really about it that grabbed my attention. I felt like there weren't very many details there and I didn't feel that relationship. So I didn't really care much for the characters at all in this story, which I think is one of the main reasons why I didn't enjoy this book as much as I wanted to. The next thing we're gonna talk about is plot. And I feel like the plot is where this book really excels because it is super fast paced, it's action packed, it gets really dark at times which I enjoyed how dark this book got at times both emotionally and like mentally dark. I really enjoyed that aspect of it and it explored some darker themes that I really enjoyed but the plot itself didn't really work for me. One, it's a rather simplistic plot, like there's one main goal and then there are just a lots of twists and turns to get to there, but I felt like there were a lot of cliffhangers and many of the cliffhangers didn't really seem to connect very well with the overall arc of the plot. Like it felt like a bunch of episodes of a TV show where the episodes were somewhat disconnected and it didn't really work for me because I'm very much a long game reader. I want to see what happens in the long term and the short term doesn't gratify me in the way that the long term plot of stories gratifies me. So while I did think it was action packed and fun to read while I was reading it, when I would put it down, I just didn't feel all that into the story because I was getting gratified in the short term, but not in the long term aspects of the story. The next thing I talk about is world building. And honestly, the world building was a little confusing to me because at the very beginning when I was reading, the language and the details that it used made me think that it was set in a more contemporary world. And then at some point he mentions, oh, electricity is not that popular where I'm from. And I just kind of went, wait, there's not electricity where you live. So what time period is it really set in? And I feel like I just was missing a lot of details about the world that I couldn't really just live in the world. I couldn't feel the world itself. Like I felt like there was a world there that could have been really interesting and great. And there were some aspects of the world that were really well developed. And then there were other aspects of the world that I was just completely blind to and blindsided at times because I didn't get those details up front, which annoyed the crap out of me while I was reading it. So the world building didn't really work for me that well, even though I do think that there was an interesting world there in some aspects, like some aspects of the world building were really well done that I can't really give you without giving spoilers, but there are other aspects that I feel like it was really lacking. And lastly, we're going to talk about author's writing style. And I feel like there wasn't too much stylistic things that I haven't already talked about. Like for example, I wanted way more details on the world building. I wanted more character development and more details on the character. 
But there is one thing that really annoyed me with specifically the way the plot was structured. And I think I mentioned it when I was talking about plot, but the cliffhangers. Like there was literally a cliffhanger at the end of every chapter. They weren't relevant to the overall plot. They just weren't. Some of them were. Like occasionally there'd be one really good cliffhanger, but the majority of the cliffhangers just annoyed the crap out of me. Like one of the cliffhangers was like, oh, the world exploded. And then in the next one, it was just like, oh, a brick fell in front of him. Like it was not relevant to like the rest of the book. It wasn't relevant to anything, but the end of the chapter made it sound like it was a super relevant cliffhanger that would completely change the story of the plot, except it didn't. And he just like stepped around the brick and everything was fine. And I really hate it when authors do cliffhangers like that. So the writing style just really didn't work for me. But like I said, it is super fast paced and a lot of action. So I can definitely see why people love this book. Unfortunately for me, it was not one of my favorites and I ended up giving it 3.5 stars. If you've read this book, let me know down in the comments what you thought of it because I would love to discuss it with you guys. I post videos on Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays at 6 p.m. Eastern time, so consider subscribing. I also post bonus videos, so if you want to be notified as soon as I upload, you can click that little bell icon. If you guys like this video, please give it a big thumbs up to support my channel. All social media links are in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.